Hello everyone. If you're new here, welcome back. If you're not new, if you are new, my name is Brianna and I have a small business called Moonwax Galaxy where I make soy wax melts and candles with the space theme. So if you're interested in that, please check out our website, check out our candles. We also have some stickers and you know, just feel free to peruse. So I just came with a small video to kind of update about the craft fair that we went to. If you've been keeping up with us, you know that we went to one Friday on July 1st. And I just want to kind of get my thoughts out. I, first of all, it was out in um, Roman Park in Cherville, Indiana, and it was great. It was fantastic. It was mostly like a fireworks show. The setup was that there was kind of like these two rows or vendors set up uh, with their tents or canopies and there was also some live music going they had a little bit of fireworks going but the fireworks like big show was really at the end around like 9 45 they started and it was until 10 o'clock and it was it was really good um they played music it was to me supposed to be like a little fourth of july thing just a couple days early but it was it was very nice and there was also food music all different types of stuff there was we were the, little, the spot that they put us in was like right in front of some jumpy houses. I don't know what they're called. I just call them jumpy houses. But you know the little like blow up jump houses and the kids go in there and they jump and they jump and they jump. It was lots of fun. So we were there from about 5 to I will say about 11 o'clock. Was it 11 o'clock? Might have been like 10.45, 10.30. Set up was around we we got there and we set up we did our setup around four ish and it was great there was lots of people we made about a good profit i think and yeah it was just enjoyable we it was kind of my first time doing a something with a little bit more of a craft fair style and i say style because you know we had a 10 by 10 sort of space versus like the pop-ups that we went to were smaller spaces so we had tables so I was nervous to try to figure out how to fully utilize a bigger space so I had a my six foot table but then I also had a four foot table off to the side and that is the table I usually make my candles on and I was a little nervous because I was like oh it has like red dye on it so I used a tablecloth I got from the Dollar Tree that's kind of like a it looks like a like a holographic type of material. I'll try to put pictures up on the screen. Lately, I've been into like holo playing around with holographic sort of looks in addition to our colors. Like usually our colors are the pink, black, and the um, teal, bluish, greenish kind of tint um, that we have in our logo. But I've also been playing around with like holographic material, particularly like white, hol white silvery holograph. And I liked it. I liked the way it looked. So this time we had, I brought our original line candles. I brought our original line wax melts. I brought our Black History Month candles. When I say Black History Month, I mean our amber jars, the brown ones that turned out to be really popular. And I brought our summer candles, which also a lot of people gave us a, a lot of good feedback on. People particularly liked the ocean waves and coconut one and the watermelon lemonade one. Watermelon lemonade seemed to be the popular one from the feedback we were getting. But people spoke highly about all three, even the mixed berry. And we were telling people like, we have one more coming. Please be patient with us as I try to make that. I literally just ordered the fragrance oil our manufacturer just restocked so I was I was trying to wait for them to restock on the fragrance so that way I could buy it so I just bought it it should be here in a few days look forward to possibly a video of me making those candles yeah but it was it was good we got to talk we got to mingle we got some sales we got feedback there were people that even took some business cards which if you even took a business card thank you so much if you followed us on any platform thank you so much we're like not exactly the best social media influencers and when I say me I mean myself and Kimberly who's also like a business partner of mine we're, we're not like the best at social media 
we're we're still working on trying to be like more consistent but thank you for following us if you follow us on whatever platform that you follow us on even if it's not here on youtube but just doing some more reflection i think it went well i also have i don't know what it's called i bought it and, and I, I keep forgetting what it's called but essentially like i use this um it hangs and it rotates <laughs> and i'll have to put in a picture of um where i put my wax melts because they're in these mesh bags so yeah the only thing that i think we got feedback on we got feedback on some more possible scents to try out which was mint and mint and something else i put it in my phone mint and i think like vanilla and then we got another one but um hopefully maybe i'll play around with those and, and see what i did feel bad about was that some of my candles the brown ones in particular i have m like moons at the top of the candles and they got messed up because i had some of them in my car and they melted because it got really hot and i forgot to take them out of my car so there were about like at first i thought it was only three that got messed up but then we got there and i opened the top and i was like oh no so there were quite a few that were messed up um, particularly the sage ones which I was like no because sages are like most popular scent so of course I had like five or six candles that were completely messed up um, I'm probably just gonna keep them only because like I can use them as like for display so when I say display I just mean like I'll light them up that way like people can smell it and it'll attract some folks which I think worked really well. In most of the videos that I looked up on like how to go about doing sort of like a craft fair you play with height so may so to catch people's eyes coming back at, uh, that are walking past your tent you want to try to get like stuff that's higher up or, like on a shelf or something instead of laying everything flat and I tried to get like a bookshelf that would like um so you know those small bookshelves that can fold up and stuff i couldn't get it in time so i was like okay i'm gonna light a candle and try to catch people by their nose instead of their eyes which i think worked pretty well like even if someone didn't buy anything they would people walk past and was like it smells great over here and i was like thank you so that day i made a um big sage candle and i lit it for pretty much the whole time and I didn't even use up a lot of it so I'm probably gonna make another big one and when I say big one I mean the um, horizontal hexagonal octagonal I can't remember if it was octagonal or hexagonal I'm so sorry um, candles that are like huge I think I'm gonna probably use some of those jars as well to make because I have a whole bunch of them in my storage unit basically <laughs> I probably should admit this but I'm just reusing jars I don't know Kim got these jars from a friend of a friend and um, they used to be like a bunch of jars that have like some other scent and they're all used up so essentially like I just clean them out and I put the new stuff in and I'm just reusing jars I like to recycle so I don't know if anyone has a problem with that but yeah so I am interested in trying to make because I was talking to my friend who went with me who's also she's also our artist by the way she made our stickers and our logo and everything I'll probably like try to put her information somewhere on the screen or in the description if you ever want to like check out more of her art please do but she was telling me like I, I asked her should I because I need to restock on sage I was like should I just get bigger jars because um where I get them from they were sell, sold out of the 10 ounce but they had 16 ounce and I was like should I just get bigger jars and she was like yeah you should so I was like okay so look forward to that we are going to have 16 jar ounce uh, ounce jars of sage and mahogany teak wood specifically so that look forward to that once that uh, shows up I ordered it hopefully it'll be here sometime this week because I ordered it Saturday so it should be here this week hopefully today's Sunday so yeah um other introspections that i had was that because we were staying so late i didn't think about lighting so literally we were sitting there by candlelight which is like romantic but i was like it's dark so we have my mom has these like 
lantern tent camping things I, I'll, sh I'll show a picture of it where you like you pull it out and then there's a light and I was like I should take that Kim was saying to get like fairy lights but they're like fairy lights that are operated by battery I was like I've never seen that before so I'll have to look it up yeah and we had hand sanitizer I had disinfectant spray I don't even think I use a disinfectant spray really but I had it and, and yeah I think it was a good it was a good process um, we did get a couple questions on if we had wax melt versions of the summer scents. Not yet. I am making wax melt wax melts now. I ordered just like little plastic containers for them, which at first I was gonna do glass, but I was like, why not? Why not plastic? I know plastic is like not the most eco friendly, but to me, if it's like a plastic container, it could be reused, which is my hope. So. Please, please also like reuse and recycle like your candle containers. If you want, I can definitely, I know I made an Instagram post, but I can definitely like make a full video on like how to reuse your candle jars. There are other videos out there on how to reuse your candle jars. It's super simple, super easy. So yeah. Besides that, I think that's about it. I was messing around with and this probably isn't as interesting, um, but this is like back end stuff of doing like maybe a barcode system because with our point of sale system right now, we use Square and with the Square, I have like an iPad. So I go on my iPad and like you, you click the item that you want and add it and it can, it like, there were some people that were buying like three, four, five candles. <laughs> so like, it's like. A little awkward when you have to be like click each individual one and the other person's like the customer on the other side is just standing there waiting I was like oh this takes a minute so I I'm trying to figure out a barcode system I made this is probably really boring but S SKU SKUs and I generated barcodes for free and they're all in an Excel sheet I just need to find a barcode scanner that is compatible with the uh because so far there's only one but the barcode scanner for it is like $250 and I was like I ain't got it like that <laughs> so I'm trying to see if maybe there's like a generic one that will still work with like square but so far all the generic ones that I looked at they were like yeah it works with everything but square and I'm like okay great it was really like yeah it works with windows it works with Apple, it works with iPad, I felt, but it doesn't work with Square. And I was like, all right. So, you know, figuring out those logistics. I'm pretty sure that's about all the thoughts that I had about the situation. Oh, Kim also talked about us getting like a banner that would go across our canopy, which I was like, yeah, I, I definitely agree. There's places where you can get a um, banner printed. So yeah, I'm excited. We will be back out there on the 22nd. There's going to be, I believe the this one is more so like they're showing a series of movies in the park. So it's called like Party in the Park and they show like movies and it's like one every few so days I think. Like this, this day they're showing a movie, then the next day they're showing another movie, then the next day they're showing another movie. I just paid for one day <laughs> and that was it. I, you can pay for like all the days, but I just paid for one. I paid for Hocus Pocus. There was another one that was like cars they were showing or something. I just paid for Hocus Pocus. So I'm hoping to dress up as a witch. I'm trying to figure out should I bring like, cause the, the sense, the fall, I have our fall sense, but I don't really have anything that's like Halloween-y per se, if that makes sense. So we'll see what i wanted to do was get like wax warmers that were shaped like a cauldron but i cannot find them maybe it's because it was like out of season but then again i was looking back in like march march or april i think i was looking for them so i'm gonna try to look again because it's getting closer to october um but i don't want to wait too close but yeah it was nice to like mingle and talk to people and network and hand out business cards and all that good stuff speaking of business cards i've been thinking about there's like what's the word these like i don't know how to explain them like eco-friendly virtual business cards so the concept is like you get a fancy looking card and 
there's not a QR code on it, but you can scan the card with your phone and your website would pop up in the same way like a QR code would work. And like, it's just like a website with all of like your links on there to your social media. And like the idea is like, never pay for business cards again. And I was like, I think it would be worth it. We wouldn't have to pay to print business cards, really. I mean, unless someone is just like, they really want like a business card for them to like have and keep sure but like i i don't know i was like i feel like people don't really keep business cards and it it might be just like easier we, we can figure out the logistics later but yeah besides that i'm gonna try to make a display candle for watermelon lemonade since a lot of people really seem to like it and i think that if we light it people might be able to you know kind of get more interested but yeah i think the display candle was a really good idea i'm probably gonna use some of those like sage ones that I messed up on as like a display but yeah look forward to the summer candle that the last summer candle that's coming out in our summer collection which is the mango tangerine I made a tester here and it smells really good I promise it smells so good and then we also have a restock coming up we literally have like we're sold out on sage I'm pretty sure which I have I'm gonna be updating on the site today it's either we're sold out we have like two left i know we have two left of the mahogany teak wood so yeah and i have to remember to call it mahogany and not mahogany teak wood because like mahogany teak wood is kind of copyrighted and if you know you know so i have to say for legal purposes i have to say mahogany that is our mahogany candle instead of mahogany teak wood because i believe since mahogany is just like a type of wood, it is not copyrighted, as far as I know. As far as what um, um, our like lawyer has told us. We don't actually have like a dedicated lawyer. We have like a lawyer that I kind of like pay for, for legal advice. Like, but I've only done it like twice. So I don't know if I can like be like, that's our lawyer, but yeah. I need to try to get better at taking like pictures in the moment. I usually try to have like Kim or Lyric focus on taking pictures, but like we get, <laughs> I, I get so focused on setting everything up and then like customers start showing up shortly after that, that I'm like in the moment with them and I'm like, wait, we gotta take pictures. So I think Kim took majority of the photos and videos and stuff, which I need her to send to me, but yeah. I think I've rambled on long enough, but it was good. It was fun. Um, oh, last thing before I forget. I know we have had quite a few people approach us at, like asking like, how do I make my own candle? Which I was like, you know, I kind of give them like uh, the, the basic bare bones of like, you need your wax, you need your fragrance oil, you need a container and a wick and glue the the wick into the container you put in the wax you put in the fragrance oil blah 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 but mostly because i'm at a pop-up and i'm like i don't have like the dedicated time to walk through there was someone that contacted us about if we had any courses i was like we don't really have any courses but if you're interested please like let us know leave a comment or something if you'd be interested in maybe like me making a video about how to like make a candle i i thought to just make a dedicated video there are some people that are like well do you have a course i don't know how i feel about like making people pay for a course per se to like just make a candle but we'll figure it out I, i'm just trying to gauge like the interest the chances of me just like making a video of like here's how i make my candles um and here's the like candle knowledge that i have because i am by no means an expert um i'm like maybe around intermediate but yeah that's it thank you so much for watching this video may fate conspire in your favor and may your stars always align i actually remember the outro this time <laughs>